hey how are you so today we are going to show how you can create Shopify flow inside Dundee so first of all you need to go to automation and from here you need to go to create automation flow and from here you will see this flow type so from here you can select either Shopify flow marketing or Shopify flow operational so between that uh, when you are your Shopify flow is generating revenue then it will be marketing and if your Shopify flow is for just for information like about to greet your new subscriber or to let them know about your new product then it will be Shopify flow operational for example I am showing you how you can create a Shopify flow for later let's select Shopify flow operational as we are going to just create the flow to greet our new subscribers and here we will change our text for example we are just adding this text only just as it's a greet text and if you want we can add multiple Shopify flow variable for example for now we are just having this one as we are going to just show that display name if you want you can add multiple variable from here and you can also remove them then if you all want you can also add shop image with here and you need to upload the image in content files and then copy and paste the image url here and for, for now i am just using no image here you can add extra static button from here and also short quick replace for now i am just leaving this as it is and create flow you can see the flow is now pending and once it's approved we can use this and also when you go to create Shopify flow you will see the instructions how you can create the flow So our flow is approved so now need to go to this flow details and from here we will just copy this template ID and now we will go to Shopify flow the app and we will create a new workflow And for example, we are just getting customers number using ecom send pop-ups. It's a pop-up and when customer comes, a pop-up will appear and then customer need to put their name and phone number. So we just use this and get this trigger. And when a new subscriber is added, then we will add this action like we want to send whatsapp messages using our app don't it? and send a message and now the template id we have copied we need to paste it here and for here we just need to add the variable uh, we need to add customer name And it's added then we will just turn on the workflow you can see it's saved and there is no draft here so now the workflow is added you if you want you can rename the workflow so now the workflow is done and it's active and if you want you can also turn off the workflow from here and if you want you can also edit it so that's how you can use our app to create Shopify flow thank you